Hello, it's me again. For those of you just joining me for the very first time, I am Marika Mayo Cornelius. I'm an author, blogger, and now vlogger. And you can reach me at marikacornelius.com at all times. Also, while you're here, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button that says subscribe on your screen. And also hit the bell if you want to get any and everything that I post right away. All right. So, independence. Okay, that can mean a lot of different things if you don't know what you're talking about. But I'm talking about being an independent thinker, okay? And how um, you could really mess yourself up if you're not an independent thinker, if you're trying to create a novel or create entertainment for anyone. For example, there are so many people writing books nowadays. It's crazy. And one of the problems that's going on in the industry is that people are looking at other people's works and trying to copy or mimic the same storyline over and over and over again. Um, that's not cool. If you want to stand out in any genre or stand out in anything that you do, you must have your own creation. You can't say, okay, um, play if you're a singer. All right. You go out and you look just like Beyonce. You're trying to be Beyonce. No one's going to sign you because you, they already have one Beyonce. If you want to stand out in anything, you want to be an independent thinker. And I'm not saying don't go and um, gain inspiration from places. You can gain inspiration from anything in yourself or your life or anything, but it becomes a problem when you basically tread on stealing someone else's work. And that's what's going on in the industry right now. Um, so there are some ways that you can become an independent thinker. One way is to, while you're writing, don't read other people's stuff. All right. Because sometimes when you're writing your own creation and you're also reading a book or other works, you tend to, you might draw from that other person's work and inadvertently put it in your work all right when i'm working i don't read simple <laughs> um most of my reading is non-fiction i don't write not i don't write non-fiction um when i do write my non-fiction book it's going to be something totally from within myself it's not going to be anything that i've read about um, I am multi-genre, but I, what I don't like to do, I, sh I shy away, not really shy away from, I just totally dislike doing it. I don't want to write something that someone else has written. If I see a title out there that's been taken, if I see anything out there, I shy away from it. I want my stuff to be totally separate, totally different. Um, and, um, there have been people who try to copy off my work. Um, before actually when I was a blogger when I blogged heavily that's how I made my money um, in the past when I was a blogger people would take my whole entire post and put it on their site as if I wouldn't know about it and so and then they would have to eventually take it down once I found out because that's the copyright violation anything that's printed and someone else did it that's my work. So what you want to do is you really want to become an independent thinker for all authors out there. Become an independent thinker. Try. I mean, a lot of authors right now are out there for the big book. They just want to throw something out. But I'm, I'm really into the craft of it. And I don't want to step on another. I respect other authors. I don't want to step on another author's toes. And in order to stand out in this industry, whether you write urban, mystery, horror, um, whatever the case may be, you want to have your own perspective and your own view on something, whatever you're creating, um, your own feeling toward it. Because mimicking someone just isn't the way to go. And many times, especially if you're starting off, many times readers will call you out on it. That's the last thing you want to do. Because then you'll lose your audience because they think you're just doing a copycat. You're just a copycat. So, um, basically that's number one. I think I got off track, but number one, um, if you want to be truly, if you want to try and be more independent in your writing, don't read other work, especially while you're writing and give yourself a, a leeway. If you read, let's say an author's books last month, take space. Don't, don't write because 
a lot of times, and I've seen it before, they will take a style. And then they'll try and write like someone else. And, it's t and, and the book bombs. It bombs. Literally. Okay? Don't do that. Write how you write and enjoy it because that's what your audience wants. Your audience wants something very, very authentic to you. They don't want you to sound like Langston Hughes. Another way you can work on your creative independence is by just jotting stuff down every day. Or if you have an emotion or if you see something or if you see if you can make a story out of it. Just see if it might... You can see, see if you can make a story out of anything, an argument, anything, make a story out of it. I don't care if it's, it's three paragraphs. I don't care if it's, um, just in your imagination, just think of all the different ways that you can create a story from a situation that may be true or just in your imagination, see how far it can go. Because if it can go in your imagination for a very, very long time, that's a story and you didn't have to go and find it in somebody else's work one last thing this is what helps me a lot and really honestly helped me I put out a lot of books back to back um, back in the day uh, most of my books came out within two year times time frame and um, it was a series novels back to back I ended up getting the title prolific um, I didn't even realize that I was that prolific an author until people noticed that I was coming out with not just books I was coming out with different genres different um, um, types of work, like from short stories to novels, a novel, right? Novels in 30 days that became like great, great reads. And, um, somebody was like, this is a prolific author right here. And we have found another prolific author because I was coming out with them back to back. But one thing that helped me come out with all those, um, works within that time frame, um, is blogging. Like I said before, blogging, you have to think up your own article. I don't go and copy articles from other people. I look at a situation when I was blogging, I was a celebrity blogger, and I wrote what I felt about the issue at hand, okay? Um, I will go to an event, and I will write about the event at hand. So, um, and it was all my stuff. So when your brain is constantly working like that, in creating it actually gives you the momentum and the drive to um, create independently and it helps so much so those are the three things hope you got them that will help you become more independent in your creations um, because it will help you as an author overall and build your career not off someone else's back and not off someone else's ideas, but off your own ideas and you'll be happier for it in the long run. And so will your readers. Ta-ta.